want to say something real quick. That the other day, I'm in my grad program, and, and um, we had an essay to write, and it was the topic was vulnerable, a vulnerable population. And so in the class, you know, if I were to stick with curriculum, it would be, you know, uh, disabled individuals, geriatric or elderly individuals, you know, things of that nature. But when I started thinking about it, I said, wait a minute, we as a church, we as a people of God, we're vulnerable. Because vulnerable means, uh, you know, susceptible to physical or emotional harm. That's what vulnerability is. And when I thought about that, I said, how true is that? Because when I looked in scripture, we were very vulnerable. They were very, very uh, um, apt to being physically harmed and absolutely emotionally harmed. Think of what they did to our God all night before he was glorified, amen? Spit on him, ripped his beard off of him, uh, joked and, and all these crazy things at him. And then we, and I, again, I looked at it in, in, in our lens. And so I wrote the paper on that. And with all that to say, Scripture tells us like this, that we have to have the same spirit, yeah. and we have to be in the same faith, yeah. and not only that, then we have to speak the same thing. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, are we on the same page? Yeah. Yeah. I'll read it for you if you don't believe it. And then I'll get into what the Lord gave me. But I just felt like that was very necessary because we are in rough times, we are in vulnerable times. You know, people are going to come against us because of what we believe and what we uphold. Today's society, today's uh, quote-unquote Christian, I do that for a reason, um, accepts that which is not biblical. Right. Amen. Right. We as a people, I say the true Christians, the true church, are told that we have to marry people that is unnatural. Amen. Men and men. That's right. not natural. Right. Women and women, not natural. Right. And we're supposed to okay that. We're supposed to then be a church, a group of people, the called out ones, the ones that are supposed to go out. And we're supposed to, to adhere to this mess. And this is not the scripture. Scripture says this in 2 Corinthians 4, 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. Watch this. This is the beautiful thing. According to as it is written. Right. Amen. Right. What is written is man. And woman. Yeah. Woman created for the man. It's, I just praise God, this is just a commercial break. Amen? But this is according to as it is written. Amen? Right. According to as it is written, we are supposed to live holy. Right. And follow peace yeah. with all men. According to as it is written. Amen? Amen? I And then it says, I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Once we believe in this infallible word, amen, one with another, right. it says how can we walk together lest we agree. agree. So once we agree one with another, then we have to speak. Right. Amen. But that was just a commercial break in here, praise God. But let's go to Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, verses 28 through 30. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. Lord showed me a beautiful thing during worship. I thought about when Israel had the awesome opportunity and awesome privilege to hear God Almighty. Amen. When Moses and Aaron and Joshua went up, the entire people of God were down at the base of the mountain and they heard God. Yeah. Amen. And, and so I thought about that in, in service today, and I said, Lord, just, just grab hold of our hands. Manifest your glory. Let us see even just a glimpse Imagine. of your garment. Right. Oh, man. Wow. Amen. Amen. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30, it says like this here. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you Shiloh. Rest give you rest. And it says, take me, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, 
and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden or my load is light. Amen. Heavenly Father, in your name, Jesus, we praise you. We pray that you anoint the lips of clay, Lord God. We pray that every word that comes forth, Lord Jesus, is a, is a word that can ingest in our being, Lord God. And that we can move in it, Lord. That we can recall unto it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Scripture says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Run with me to Philippians 1.29. Wonderful book. I just have to be obedient to what the Lord said. Amen. Just say amen when you have it. Philippians 129 reads, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Amen. Go to chapter 3, verse 10 quickly. And it says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we got to take old with new and new with old. We're going to go to Isaiah 30 and 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are they that wait for him. What the Lord put on me Sunday, amen, uh, amen was simply this. He says in scripture, my yoke is easy. Amen? And my burden is light. And the moment I heard that, because he gave it to me, the scripture anyhow, he gave it to me during worship. The moment I heard that, I said, Lord, but we suffer some stuff. He says in the fellowship of my stuff. I don't get that. I know scripture equals scripture. I understand that. And, he, and then he allowed me to see deeper into it. Amen? When you go back to Matthew 28, when he says, learn of me. When he says that this, this yoke is easy. This yoke is a submission to authority. And think of it like this. Think of having a yoke upon you. Man, you know what the yoke is, three holes, amen, if you're in there like this. Amen. A yoke upon you. And in no way, shape, or form is that an easy thing. Amen? amen. More often than not, if not all the time, if we were to be in this position, we would be upset. We would be angry. We would be bitter at the fact that we are yoked. Amen? Come, I'm going somewhere yeah. else, man. We will be bitter at the fact that who placed us here? But a yoke is submission to authority. Someone has to put us into this yoke. Someone has to place us there. Right. Amen? Yeah. There's a reason for us being in this yoke. And then we have the burden. He said his burden is light. The burden of love your neighbor. When they ask him, what is the greatest command, Lord? Love the Lord your God. First, your is the Lord our God is one. Yeah. And love the Lord your God and your neighbor as you do yourself. Right. Amen? Yeah. The burden that Jesus Christ came on uh, and, and rolled himself in flesh to do was to show just that, the love. 
what what does scripture say? Scripture says it's easier to to for a camel. Amen. Yeah. To go into a or the, 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 the eye of the needle than a rich man to make it into heaven. Amen. I said, Lord, what does that mean? I, I understand. How does that make sense here? When we put anything before God, when we put anything above God, when this yoke becomes so burdensome, oh my God, follow me. When this yoke becomes so burdensome that we're struggling and we're not having it because the authority upon us, we're not feeling it. Oh, somebody said, We don't want to have this authority upon us. We don't want to submit to this authority. But the Lord says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Oh my God. I, I, I want you guys to roll with me, please. To have a yoke on our shoulders means that we are fully and completely submitted unto God Almighty and His will. According to as it is written, we read it. I believe, and ye believe also, Amen. and then we speak. That's what the scripture says. Right. Amen. And, and once we have this truth, we have to spread this truth. But how in the world can we spread a truth if we're bogged down with the yoke of bondage? Scripture says, Paul says, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. But Jesus says, my yoke is easy. Oh, Lord. Oh, I hope you're hearing that. Because we have to be fully and completely submitted to the will of God. We have to be so completely submitted to the will of God that when we go through things in our lives, we understand that we have to go through this for his name's sake. Scripture said it. Paul, being a man taught directly by God, said that we will suffer for his name's sake. Glory? Yeah. Oh, I hope everybody's here. We will suffer for his name's sake. Watch this. Acts 5.40. Acts 5.40. I'll read it quick. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And watch this, 41. And they departed from the presence of the council, here go, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Wow. How many of us get excited when someone tells us you are dumb for believing what you believe? Huh? Or how can you go to that church? Or how can you believe that stuff. Right. Amen? Amen? How many of us, hallelujah, praise God. The yoke, Lord. Yeah. Right. The yoke is easy, Lord. But you know what we got to remember? Jesus says, my burden is light. Yeah. My burden is light. Yeah. All we have to do is love them. Yeah. All we have to do is show this love that he, yes, he showed us. Right. Scripture says, for he so loved the word that he gave. 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 Yeah. gave. Oh, my God. My God. Hallelujah. According to as it is written, we know scripture says there ain't none but one. We know scripture says that I, even I, am God alone. And beside me there is no other. We understand that. We understand that flesh cannot be in heaven. We understand that. So there's no way that a son, a fleshly son, came from heaven. That's not possible. We understand that. We know God is one. There ain't no three in one, there ain't no three separate. We know that. That's scripture, according to as it is written. So when we have this and we have people come against us because of these things that we believe and know is true, we say, Lord, the burden is light. Lord, your yoke is easy because that's not me. Scripture says that if they reject you, they're actually rejecting this. Amen? So we can't take it here. We're, we're here to do work. And that's it. Right. Acts 7, 58 and 59. Watch this. Talking about Brother Paul. So, Brother Steve. 
and cast him out of the city and stone him. <clears throat> and stone him. And the witness lay, witnesses laid down the cross at the young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And watch this. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God, saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Amen. Here's a man that stood for right. Here's a man that said, Lord, I'm going to take this yoke. I'm under your authority. I'm submitting to your uh, authority. Amen. And I'm taking this burden of love and of truth. Amen. The scripture said that we must worship him in spirit and in truth. And here goes back to what I said at the beginning in Jesus' name. Scripture says in Romans that you, not you, but people have changed the word. People have taken the truth and turned it into a lie. You have taken the truth off and turned it into a lie. My Lord. Paul says that because of that very thing, you are turned to uncleanness. Hello? And the man puts away the natural use of the woman. And the woman puts away the natural use of the man. Oh, glory. This is, this is, this is scripture. This is where we're living at right now. This is why when I wrote that five, six, seven page, whatever it was, it was like fully in the spirit. Oh, my God. I, I hope I get a good, great glory. Amen? But it's true. True Christians. True church. We have to live this. True believers cannot be mad one with another just because I had a bad day. Amen? Just because they had a weird look or just because I felt weird My God. and I think they thought this. Wow. Mm. Come on. My God. What is this? Scripture says my burden is light. And my yoke is easy. Why are we then taken out of that and we're turning truth into a lie? Oh, my God. Say oh, it, Lord. We're saying, Lord, you don't know what you're talking about. Life is too hard. Life is too rough. You have no idea. What we say. This is what we believe at times. But scripture says, according to as it is written, nothing new under the sun. Come on. Everything that is was. And everything that shall be was. Come on. Amen. This whole civil rights movement that was in the 60s, real good. Been here, done that. This whole homosexual push. Been there, done that. Amen? All this stuff. All this gambling and all this. It's not a new thing. My Lord. But the Lord says, my burden is light. And my yoke is easy. Oh, my God. But where, where the, the, the point or the moment that the burden becomes hard oh, and, say and, 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 and difficult is when we're struggling. Well, because we want control. Lord, I want to be in control. Come Get on. this yoke off of me. Well, I want to do my will, not your will. Uh -huh. That's when it gets difficult. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that funny when we have an yeah. awesome service? God is moving so beautiful. Oh my God, we feel like walking out clouds. My God. And the moment after we walk out the door, it's like, boom. Yeah. Why? Because we took off the burden, the easy yoke of Jesus yeah. Almighty that we put on our own. Right. Uh, oh. Right. Yeah. Bills. Kids. Yeah. House. You know I'm right. Wow. I'm do a dream yeah. on that one. Glory. This is true. Right. Scripture says it according to as it is written. Yeah. Oh my God. Beautiful. Acts 14 19. Watch this. God is good all the time. Acts 14 19. This, speaking of Paul, perseverance. Amen. Suffering for the sake of God Almighty. Watch this. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people, turning the truth to a lie. Amen. Having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead or thinking he was dead. They 
stoned them to death as far as they were concerned. And they left them. They left them there. Watch this. Let's go to the next scripture. This is a beautiful thing now. How be it, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up. He rose up. <laughs> and came into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. But the beautiful thing there is the disciples were around him like this here. <laughs> Scripture says he got up. Scripture didn't say they helped him up. He got up. We're like this here. Sometimes, sometimes our brother or sister is down and we're like this here. Oh, Lord, Lord, is there, is there burden in life? Mm. Is there yoke easy, Lord? Oh. Come on, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. But my burden is light, saith the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Paul says in Romans 8.18, real beautiful, real nice, nothing in this life that we go through is comparable right, to what we're going to have or what it's going to be like in glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen? That's the El Latino version. Paraphrase. Amen? Nothing in this life can compare to what it's going to be like in glory. Amen? And if I read correctly in Philippians, he says we will. Paul says we will. We will suffer for his name's sake. I mean, it's just going to be. Yeah. It's throughout scripture. It's just going to be. Isaiah exhorted us. Wait on the Lord. He's waiting on us, matter of fact, because he's a judge. He's going to judge everything we do and say it and think. But because he loves us so much, he's going to wait. Therefore, we ought to wait. That means trust now. we got to trust on the Lord. We know the Lord trusts on us. Amen. We know the Lord's going to wait on us. So now we have to, in turn, wait and trust on the Lord and make sure that this yoke that is very easy. Amen? This yoke that is very easy because all it is is submission to authority. What is worship? What is praise? Praise is exaltation of God Almighty. Worship is submission to God Almighty in your praise, in your worship. Amen? Once we have this, then this burden absolutely becomes life. When this burden that we have According to scripture, becomes heavy. I question your love for the Lord. Hello? Well, if anybody says the burden is hard and heavy, I call you a liar. Because scripture said, God said, my burden is light. Who are you or who am I to say otherwise? Amen? My burden is light. He will not say something to contradict himself. He can't do that anyhow. Right. Yep. That'll, that'll be a lie. That's something he cannot do. Amen? Amen. Look, at, look, look at Ezekiel. I praise God for this story. 430 days. Come on. 430 days he was on his side. 390 days on one, on his left side. 40 days on his right side. Amen? And each day was as a year for the people because of the iniquity that they had, because of the hate that they had, the enmity, if you would, with God, toward God. Amen? And so one man, and one. Pat, Pat, oh, right, God, Pat, it's so beautiful. On Sunday, the Lord showed me something, showed me pastor in a one-dimensional shape. Weird, weird stuff. And one dimension for Mr. Brock, tell me it's like this, right? One dimension like this. So he showed me a pastor like that on the ground. I said, man, that's weird. Blacked out. And he immediately took me to Ezekiel. Oh, I see. Pastor stands in the gap hole. Yes, he does. Amen? Pastor, pastor has to, to, you, to uh, uh, spiritually be on his side for a year and some change. Oh, my Lord. And then he has to turn to his other side and trust on the Lord real good. Even more on your behalf, on my behalf. Right. Because we put God's burden heavy. Because we put his, his yoke as difficult. Wow. Amen? Right. I hope it's making sense a little bit. The Lord is trying to say my burden is light. My 
burden in his life? Why are we living so hard? Why are things so difficult? Yeah. Amen? Amen? We ought to be the happiest people. We ought to be the most fun people to be Come around. Glory right. to the name of Jesus. Right. Amen? We ought to be the least moody people in the planet. Right. Amen? That's the truth. Anyhow, Scripture says, watch your countenance. It shows up. Amen? When you're fasting, what are you supposed to do? Like the Pharisees like this here? No. You're supposed to be happy. Praise God. Amen? That's Scripture. Well, so we have to watch what we're doing. Amen? We have to, we have to just listen to Scripture. Jesus said, like this, so we. People ask them, Lord, what, what do we do to obtain everlasting life or eternal life? He says, keep these commandments. These. And he said seven, if I'm not mistaken. He didn't say all ten. He said seven of them. Amen? Oh, oh. Some people are like, well, what are you saying? Two and five. What's wrong with the other three? Nothing. Because he actually said a, another commandment I gave to you. Amen? Uh, to love. Because if you love somebody, you're not going to kill them. You're not going to steal from them. You're not going to covet something that is theirs and not yours. Amen? You're not going to do these things. Right. Right. Amen? Right. So, so you look at scripture as it is. I get so many questions about Dumb stuff. It kind of drives me nuts sometimes. It's just dumb stuff. Well, well I, I see three. I, where? Show me. I'll see. Show me. I like uh, Gino Jennings. He says, give me book. Uh, what is this? Give me Bible, book, and chapter. He said, I want your mouth. I want the Bible. I love that. And it's true. We have to stay in the book. Scripture says, so beautiful. According to as it is written. Amen? And this is what we are, this is what we have to do. It's just it's just what we have to do. Let's go, let's read Ezekiel. Chapter 4, verses 3 through 6. Amen. Moreover, take thou unto thee an iron or a flat plate, and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city, and set thy face against it, and it shall be besieged, and thou shalt lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel. Verse 4. Lie thou self, lie thou also, excuse me, upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of days of the days. That thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquities. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of days, 390 days, that thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on the right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. Amen? 430 days this man was on his side. If you read good, he laid up on that iron plate. That's rough. Alone on your side for 390 days, that's rough. On your left side. If I sleep more than seven hours, it feels weird. I'm a side sleeper, Lord. I wake up like this here. Man, could you imagine 390 days? On one side. And then when you think it's good, you get to move. No other side. My Lord. Let's go back to Matthew 11. I'm going to close shortly. I pray at the minimum. This has opened our eyes up a little bit to understand that everything we go through in this life, no, 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 Scripture no, no. says, my burden is light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we're, we're on this planet to do what? To serve Him, yeah. to praise Him, to 
expanding and gossip about him. Right. Amen. To win souls unto him. That's it. That's it. What else? Scripture says that he, he, he wants us to, to prosper. Absolutely he wants to prosper. But he wants our souls to prosper even more. Right. Amen. He wants us to make it into glory. What good is it? The scripture said, what good is it to gain the whole world but lose yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You look at people that have everything. Beautiful house, beautiful cars, beautiful clothes, and all this stuff. But they're empty. You can see right through it. You can see right through it. Amen. They don't have this easy yoke or this light burden. Well, oh, hallelujah. Matthew 20, 11, 28 through 30. I'm reading it again. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will. Scripture says, I will. I will give you rest. But here's the beautiful thing. He says, come unto me. Come unto me. Sometimes we don't come to the Lord. Sometimes we come with, 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 uh, with, with you know, uh, lip service. Amen? Well, Paul said it beautifully. Like, uh, like sounding brass. Yeah. Amen? He said, like, some are singing songs, and some are over playing this instrument, and some are, different people are singing different songs at the same time, and making a lot of noise, but saying nothing, and doing like Amen? We can't come to the Lord. Like scripture says we have to come to the Lord correctly. Uh, don't ask amiss. Don't ask wrongfully. Right. When we enter into the presence of God, there's things we have to do. We have to do. Right. Don't come to the Lord with an attitude. Right. Don't come to the Lord thinking ill about a situation or a brother or sister. Right. He ain't going to hear you. Right. He'll shut you down. Yep. Amen? Amen. Old Testament says when we had to, when, when, when man or woman had to use, use the restroom, if you would, because there was no restroom. He said, get out the camp mm -hmm. with the shovel, dig a hole, handle business, bury it, and then go back. Amen. Why? Because it's unclean right. to do that in the house of God, right. in the presence, right? You have to go outside the camp. Just the same when we come into this house. Amen. We come into the house of God. Bethel. Yeah. Amen. When we come in here, we have to make sure our mind is clear. Right. Lord, forgive me for anything I said, yeah. thought, or did. Yeah. Now you've come for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take you my yoke upon you, and learn of me. When we submit unto Jesus Christ Almighty, we're going to learn of him. Right? When we submit to his authority, we're going to understand things deeper. Right? This is why the, 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 the disciples said, Lord, why do you speak to them in parables? That's the only way they would understand. Right? Yeah. But you, you know the mystery of the truth. Amen? He gave it to us. Oh, glory. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Sometimes we have a vexed spirit. Mm. Come on. Sometimes we feel down and just, ugh, mm. there's something going on. Minister Brock had a great example of that. He said he had some pains, and he didn't understand why. And then Sunday, Pastor X prayed, expressed that he had pain. Amen. And, and that's what it was. We prayed, Pastor said, yeah, I don't have that pain no more. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so prayer. Amen. Having this. Easy, you, easy yoke. Amen. Having this light burden gives us all the strength to pray over somebody, Lord. pray over a thing, and it's a, it's a comfort person. Amen? But we have to come unto him. And it says here, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Now, verse 30, for my yoke is easy, and my burden or my load is light. John 6, 33, 35. And I'm going to close it down with this. I, I would like to throw this one at you. If you guys mess around and read John 6, John 10, John 11, 
John 14. I mean, all, all the John is good, but if you just read 6, 10, and 14, the Lord's going to give you so much meat out of it. Imagine the apostle's love. The only one that was not murdered. He actually died of old age. So everybody else were, were martyrs. For the sake of the name of Jesus. The name of all of them. Amen. John has such an insight as to who God was. Amen. Or is, of course. But John, John 6, 33 to 35. Jesus speaking, of course. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then saith they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay. Amen? Amen. I I'm sure you remember a time you were so hungry for the Lord. So hungry. Burden was light. The yoke was easy. You were you couldn't wait for Sunday. You couldn't wait for Wednesday. Amen. And then something happened. I'll tell you what happened. You took off that easy yoke. Oh yeah. And you put on a heavy yoke of your own. Come on. You you, you took off that. You you put away that easy burden, that light burden, and you put on a heavy burden of your own. Amen. And some, some may say, well, you know, we're so old, you know, we get, we get, we get hurt, and, you know, when people reject us, that's fine, that's kidding. That goes with the territory, we're human, we're going to feel these things. But when we go back to Scripture, right, we have to come back to Scripture. Right. Nothing shall offend them that love the Lord. Right. Right. Scripture says, right. follow peace with all men and holiness. Right. Scripture says, right. remember according to as it is written, yeah. his burden is light. Right. Amen. Job asked a question, and I love this. Job says, if a man dies, shall he live again? Jesus said, when he was talking to Mary and Mark, Lazarus, amen, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. Though you were dead, yet shall you live again. Oh, nobody heard well, that. I thought we were outside of church. Right, right. Though you were dead, right. though the burden that we had at one time, though the yoke we had at one time was so heavy and so hard and so difficult, the Lord says, though you were dead, yet shall you live again. Right. Now you can take my easy and light burden and easy, nice yoke. Right. We're still going to be here because we have to submit. Amen? We can't walk around large and in charge like we're something. Right? Or we're not. We have to be here under authority. We have to be here under submission unto the King Almighty Lord. Right? Right. Amen? Right. Then we can have this resurrection power. Yes. Then we can pray for the sick and pray for those that are possessed. Amen? And pray for those that have a, a, a situation about them. Right. And we can have it be removed in Jesus. Not us, but the Lord in us. Amen. I pray at minimum in Jesus' name, this open your eyes up to smoke. If you take it in the spirit it was given, this is what's going to happen. You're going to take everything that's going on in your life right now. You're going to evaluate it real good. The scripture says I got to worry about it. Nope. All right. My burden is light. The scripture says I got to deal with this. Nope. Okay. No easy, Lord. I'm sticking with you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I want to believe in something. I, you know, for the longest time, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. But for the longest time, I believe because pastor and first lady. And that's fine. But we have to give account for ourselves. Amen. I'll work out your own salvation. Your own salvation. Your own salvation. I couldn't, I can't ride on the coattail of pastor. Glory come. Trumpet sound. If I don't make it, I'm, I'm going to be grabbing for nothing. Right. Amen. Right. I, can't, I can't go on a coattail of anybody. Right. So when the Lord said, work well, your own salvation, your own fear, or with, yeah. with reverence, with honor, yeah. and trembling, yeah. then I said, wow, okay, I got to search the scripture for myself. I'm going to listen to everything Pastor said. Right. He's going to have the, the oversight. 
Right. He's got everything that I don't have. Right. He has the pieces to the puzzle that I don't have. Yeah. Lord might give me a piece, but he got the rest of the pieces. Yeah. That's scripture. Thank you, Lord. Don't let anybody tell you different. Right. Amen. The, the letters of the church, to the church, were written to who? Pastor, yeah. the angel of that church. Oh, glory to the name of God. So what I'm saying is this. Make sure everything in our life goes according to scripture. And if it doesn't, throw it out. That's simple. The Lord's burden is light. My God, is nowhere in scripture do I say, do I hear or read or see, uh, we should feel depressed. We should feel anxiety. Matter of fact, it says be anxious for nothing. Okay. Nowhere do I see in there that we should have guilt and shame and all this mess. Only time I read anything about shame is if you're ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you. Right? Amen? So, so if, you're, if your life right now is in shambles, glory, go to scripture. I don't have to feel that way. Really? Out the door. Out the window. Your burden is light, Lord. In Jesus' name, glory. See you, Pastor. And you're